Okay, my first YouTube video. So my son on this snow day, no school, has talked me into a YouTube channel. I don't know what I'm thinking, but I'm gonna go for it. So I'm making my very first Mod Podge um, glitter wine glasses, and I've already started before he decided to throw me in a YouTube channel. So what I've done so far is use an Expo marker in this box to make a perfect line to help me place my tape around this entire wine glass. You can use whatever box you want for the sizing you want, okay? After I did that, I placed my tape around it. You can use painter's tape. I This is my first, so I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out, but we'll hopefully have a good product. Um, painter's tape around it and then smooth it out as best you can. Some people said electrical tape is better. Uh, I couldn't find my husband's electrical tape, so I went with painter's tape. So I did all four of my glasses. They are ready to go. So I am using Mod Podge. There is a dishwasher safe version also. In fact, I've never even used this product before, so I'm gonna open this. Not ruin my fingernails, let's try this. And I'm gonna use this first one right out of the tub, but when I do my second coat, I'm gonna pour it into a cup so I don't get excess glitter. So my plan is to do two coats of Mod Podge and then um, a third coat to seal it. So I'm gonna dip this in here. And from what I've heard and read and saw, you wanna do a very thin coat of Mod Podge. Not much bubbles. All right, Drew, so I forgot to mention before you put this on and do anything, you wanna clean your glasses with alcohol so it sticks much better. So before you do any of this, just clean it. Um, with alcohol. So I've got a thin coat around the whole thing and I'm gonna do the bottom. Some people opt to do the bottom, some people don't do the bottom. I'm gonna do the bottom. I think it'll look pretty when we drink out of it. These are gonna be for a fun girls weekend. Uh, you wanna use extra fine glitter. Okay, now that it's fully coated, I'm using extra fine gold glitter. Not gonna be chintzy because I don't want any bubbles, holes, whatever. And then I can pour it back into the bottle when I'm done and reuse it. So I'm trying to get as much space as I can. I think I need to go a little thicker on the hodgepodge next time. I was being a little, I was a little nervous. That's okay. So the second and third coats are for. Okay, I'm gonna tap the glass, get all the excess off. Looks pretty good for the first coat. And then I'll move on to the other guys. So same thing. I'm gonna be a little bit better on my Mod Podge this time. A little thicker on my coats. My goal is to do a design at the very top with everyone's name on it as well and fancy them up for our girls weekend. So around the whole thing. I'm gonna go a little bit thicker because I didn't feel like it, it took as much the last time. And I wanna do the bottom. And it is ready for the glitter. Now these have to dry a couple hours in between coats. I'm not gonna be chintzy. I'm gonna put as much on as I can. I said the last time and these look like they're gonna be so pretty I can't wait to surprise everybody with them and then some coffee mugs for the morning after morning after this is number two project on the list for a fun girls weekend okay so I've got a couple more to go and I will show you step two soon Couple hours later, 
I'm uh, gonna get, brush off a little bit of extra glitter that didn't stick, which looks like it's a good amount, and then do a second coat. I'm probably gonna do a third coat as well. And then I'll do a fourth to seal it with just Bod Podge. So brush off that excess glitter. Got a dry brush. And then I'll do my second and third coat about two to three hours in between each one. Okay, we are back for the final coat of Mod Podge to seal the glitter in and then remove the painter's tape while it's wet so that we get that perfect line. So this is a wet drawing, I should say, um, Mod Podge sealant. And when it's done, I'm gonna apply the um, vinyl uh, after I design something with the Cricut to put on the top of the glass and I will show you the final product. I am now putting the last layer of Mod Podge on, just a very light layer to seal the rest of the glasses. I have three more to go. It's very quick and easy. I let it sit overnight before I did this final one. I did all, all three coats yesterday. And today I am just doing this very last coat so that the glitter stays on. Now I did not use dishwasher safe Mod Podge so this probably will need to be hand washed. I know for next time there's a dishwasher safe version, which I heard about, but next time. So I'm gonna seal this in so that it washes and stays nicely and will look very pretty. And I can't wait to see what the finished product completely looks like. Now it was a little bit tricky getting that painter's tape off, but not that bad. So, wish me luck on this one. There we go. All right, just from the beginning of this tape, get a good grip on this glass. And yep, it's doing the same thing as before. Little sticky part that does not want to come off. It's being very stubborn, which is okay. I'll grab a hold of it. Let me just take this off. And I will go for it again in a minute. Push that out of the way. Grab a little edge and hopefully it comes off a little bit better this time. Okay. Let this one dry. This one's got a little bubble in it, so hopefully the next one's better. I might use that one. Let's try this one. Snow day number three, getting lots of projects done. And my son's got me talked into this YouTube video here. And remember, this is the very first time I've done this, so it's obviously not that difficult because I usually just put vinyl on the glasses. I've never done the glitter before, but hey, it's worth a shot. So one little lip on that one. I think it's the way I put the tape on, but that's okay. Hopefully the other three come out much better. That's why I did four, I only need three. We decided to do four just in case. Let's see, finishing this off. Making sure there's not extra for bubbles. No bubbles wanted. Okay, take off any excess. Make sure it's nice and smooth lines. All right, I'm hoping for a cleaner peel this time. Not done. So 
the glitter is all done and I'm just now putting on a, a decal that I created with the Cricut and I have designed it on Design Space and I'm just gonna apply it to my glass to finish it off. I also just cleaned off a little bit with alcohol and I'm gonna stick on my decal to finish off the glass. So let's get it on here. Little trick I learned is to cut pieces of the vinyl so you can lay layer by layer and not have any of those bubbles. So I cut little pieces in with my words. So each word is actually separate and nothing bubbles and it sits nicely. I have no patience, so this always part always gets to me. <laughs> uh, let's pull this one down. That one might have a little bubble, of course, so I can fix that. That's an easy, easy fix. Get the word friends down. And get my G down. Okay. And my little last heart. Get that hard on and then I'll fix that. Use my little Cricut tools here. Place that. Get any bubbles out. Some stubborn vinyl. I'm using Oracle vinyl. Oh, there we go. Oracle so far is my favorite. Although people say Cricut is not great vinyl, but I've never had a problem with Cricut really either. Okay, I'm just gonna peel this off slowly, make sure everything stays on. It says great friends wine together. Perfect for our girls weekend. This part's coming off, let me go this way. Mm, my little S came off. I wanna fix that. Let's get that down. Get my G. D down all the way. All right, we are done. Great friends wine together. I think it's gonna be a really fun glass. Thanks for watching my very first video. Okay, peeling the final tape off. It is a little bit trickier with the tape than I expected it to be, but it's not horrible. And the last glass, what I did was, um, I just patched that little nick that I had. I just very easy to fix. So like this one. Tap that little piece I want fixed. And I'll just come back and reseal that little piece. It's just a little part. I like perfectly straight lines. Perfectionist to being a teacher, I guess. And then I'll just wipe that excess glitter off later. But I think it is pretty nice and straight. So here's the rest of them while they dry. They're drying very nicely. They all have pretty straight edges and there's a little bit of excess glitter, but I'll just wipe that off when it dries completely. I don't want to mess with the lines. I think they look great. And I will reseal that little part. I did that on another glass too. In fact, I can't even tell which one it is. I think they came out pretty good for the most part for a first time. Wasn't too bad. I think I'll just use thinner tape next time and not a big thick painter's tape. But I didn't think it was too bad. All right, I'll come back and show you the final product.